I'm Scott Stein, and Apple announced a new line of MacBook Airs at WWDC, as expected because there are new Intel fourth generation processors that are out there with a good speed bump and some battery life advantages to boot. And sure enough, Apple's claims on the new 2013 MacBook Airs battery-wise are amazingly impressive. The 11-inch is supposed to get nine hours of battery life and the 13-inch 12. We're gonna focus on the 11 here, which we've got right over here. And um, Apple makes some really good products in the MacBook Airs. The decisions and the movement in these new models is, is a conservative one when you consider that you've got touchscreen laptops and all sorts of convertible tablets out there on the market. What Apple's providing here are a series of improvements internally, externally. It's the same exact design as before, very slim, very sturdy. But if you use the 2012 MacBook Air or even the 2011, you know what you're dealing with. Coming along with the battery life boost are those Intel fourth generation processors, which come in the form of a Core i5, or you can upgrade to a dual core i7, just like last year, but with the new models. And there are better integrated graphics, Intel HD 5000 graphics, which are better than you might find in some other equivalent processors. What you're gonna get here are better gaming graphics, you're gonna get better graphics and performance boosts for photo and video editing, and that's useful. Apple also claims a little bit of an SSD speed boost, but between that and the processor, what it means is you get a lot zippier at startup, switching applications, and general performance. The other boost here is gonna come in the form of wireless communication because this MacBook Air has 802.11ac. That's a faster new standard of wireless networking that supplants 802.11n that's been out there for a while. 802.11ac is showing up in a lot of computers and with Apple now, they've made the move in the airs and also in connected base stations and peripherals like the new Time Capsule and Airport Express, which now have the technology too. Another nice advantage here is that the new Airs are a little bit less expensive. You get more bang for your buck. The 999 MacBook Air 11 inch, which is the cheapest MacBook Air that Apple makes, it finally has 128 gigabytes of SSD storage, which is something we've waited for for a while. Before it was 64 gigs, and that really doesn't cut it. So now you've got that, and at the bump up level, 1199 gets you 256 gigabytes, and it also costs a little less to get up to 512 than before. So you're looking at about the $1,500 range Whereas before with MacBook Airs, you were kind of pushing up towards 2000. That's about it in terms of really big changes here. You're dealing with faster and hopefully a really big bump in battery life and you're paying a little bit less for it. Stay tuned for our full review. I'm Scott Stein with the new 11 inch MacBook Air.